Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Chanel Mitchell. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2022. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. What a great way to relax. Now let's go learn a new word with Word of the Day. Alex, I saw you at the Patriot of the Month ceremony. Oh yeah, my teacher picked me because you said I was the highest achiever in your class. She's definitely right. You always get good scores on your tests. I always try to succeed in what I do. Being an achiever is definitely a great attitude to have. It really is. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. Day. Thanks for that great new word. It's always good to be a high achiever. Now let's check out today's Hispanic Heritage Highlights with Nia. Thank you, Chanel. Get ball up, Patriots. Today in history, we're going to talk about Lionel Messi. Lionel Andres Messi is an Argentinian professional soccer player who plays as forward for League One club, Paris Saint-Germain, and captains the Argentina national team. Messi was from Argentina but played for Barcelona. His play continued to rapidly improve over the years, and by 2008, he was one of the most dominant players in the world. He earned the Golden Shoe Award as Europe's leading scorer, and he was named 2010 World Player of the Year. We really are going to miss him when he retires. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is chicken and barbecue sandwich, turkey and ham cheese sandwich, sweet potato wedges, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time and always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Chanel. Thank you, Jasmine, I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, the instructional software challenge is still ongoing and ends on Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Let's keep flying through those lessons with an 80% or higher. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Students, our candy drive is still going on and ends October 20th. During this time, please bring in bags of wrapped candy to be donated to the fall festival. Students in the class with the most candy donated will win a pizza and ice cream party, and the teacher of the class with the most candy donated will win a lunch on admin and a free planning period. Speaking of the fall festival, it's coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be games, food vendors, candy, music, raffles, a haunted hallway, and more. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Bucks. Make sure to buy your tickets now. Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board contest is still going on. The winner will be announced on October 20th and will win a special prize. I can't wait to see all of your amazing boards. Sports fans, this is the final call for boys' soccer tryouts. Make sure to bring a completed sports packet, physical, and grade check sheet or you will not be allowed to try out. If you have any questions about soccer tryouts, see Coach Calaruso. Time to say no to drugs and participate in Spirit Week. Tomorrow, October 13th, let's turn our backs on drugs and wear our clothes backwards or inside out. Students not participating need to wear a school uniform. The top three classes with the best attendance will win the pizza party. 
Let's get into the Halloween spirit with these boo grams. There are three grams to choose from to buy for your friends. K through fifth, the barnyard dance is coming up. It's on Friday, October 28th, and the entry price is $5. Can't wait to see all you cowboys and girls there. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Chanel. Good morning, Peaches. Today's weather is a cool 89 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's a beautiful day to spend outside. In other weather news, Halloween is coming up. With the spooky season, you're sure to encounter pumpkins. Today, we have some tips on how to keep pumpkins from rotting after carving. For one, they do best temperatures between 50 and 60 degrees and hate the moisture. A plant specialist also says that cleaning them before carving removes any existing bacteria, helping them last longer. A final tip is keeping the walls thick when carving. Follow these tips to ensure a long-lasting pumpkin. Now let's go to Destiny for the birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Bella and Dujar, Maryam Mohammadi, Jada Losa Ogundalu, and Jonathan Watkins. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Chanel. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And now for Tuesday's Daily Challenge winners. Congrats to Ms. Silvera, Ms. Iam Dinkwa, and Ms. Manon. You all had the correct answer to Tuesday's Daily Challenge, which was, if a giraffe has two eyes, a monkey has two eyes, and an elephant has two eyes, how many eyes do we have? The correct answer was four eyes because we is me and you. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. What has four wheels and flies? Teachers, please send your answers to pinestarrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Bye!